This morning, obviously, gigantic news with Paul Manafort and Rick Gates from the Trump campaign being indicted, surrendering to authorities, and then George Papadopoulos, another campaign advisor for the president, has turned evidence against them. So the entire internet is buzzing. And Fox News knows this as well. So on Fox and Friends, they're gonna talk about the online frenzy. Let's watch. Emoji causing a frenzy online. We've been talking about it all morning. Can you see what's wrong with this picture? The cheese is underneath the hamburger. Who does that? Compared to competitors, Google appears to be the only tech company putting cheese below the patty. <laughs> this is nuclear level distraction. I mean, it is. Absolutely hilarious. Everybody online is talking about something. No, not about Kevin Spacey, that's another giant issue. Uh, Manafort, nope, never heard of him. Gates, no, pa Papadopoulos, Pfft, you say Papadopoulos, I say it's not uh, No, the media is and the internet is buzzing about where the cheese goes and the cheeseburger emoji. They're not kidding that they were talking about it all morning, here's more. Says location of the cheese on a hamburger is based on which side of the equator you are on. What? South, it goes down under, okay, all right. Rhonda writes, I worked at a restaurant in my younger days and we were taught to put the lettuce under the burger to keep the bun from getting soggy. Interesting, sense. and according to John, he says, as long as the cheese is between the two pieces of bread, it works for me. So, I think people That's aren't true, it all tastes the same. Ended by it. Way to get to the bottom of that, Jillian, good work. Yeah, You're welcome. Indeed, uh, hey Janice. <laughs> I actually, and you know, it looks bad for Google. I Googled it and it showed that the cheese should be on top of the burger. Why don't we have cheeseburgers to try it out? I'm for that. Let's, let's, let's order right now. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm glad they're getting uh, to the bottom of really important issues on this Monday morning with <laughs> unbelievable news. Uh, now, they hadn't gotten their uh, talking points yet. Um, don't worry, they did. Uh, the White House tweeted, and and then later they would recover and start to go. Oh yeah, this investigation is terrible. I'll get to that in a second. But let's talk about other people's distractions real quick as well. Paul Ryan's asked about it, and he says, "Quote: People deserve tax breaks. Uh, nothing derails us from focusing on that. That's basically uh, where a lot of our time and attention is focused on right now. Um, in other words, uh, squirrel." <laughs> and hey, Republican donors, don't panic, don't panic. We're trying to get your tax breaks. Keep Trump in office until we get those tax breaks. Okay, meanwhile, Eric Trump, which I thought he was supposed to be running the business. Why is he sending out political emails? But he does to the Trump supporters and it's titled still standing. Mm. I'm still standing. They did not include the singing. Uh, what do they want? Money, of course, uh, not for the legal defense fund yet, for the campaign in 2020. Mm, yeah, we'll see if you get there. Anyway, they say uh, there's a new opposition against my father in this administration every day. But as a loyal supporter, I know you know the truth. In other words, as a loyal supporter of Donald Trump, I know that you don't care about the truth. But anyway, give us money. Uh, so now back to Fox News. Later in the day, they've decided, okay, the emoji cheeseburger thing is not working. So what are we gonna do instead? They're gonna do this. Look at this screen grab we got from Fox News. Is that? Um, Graphic large enough for you guys, that monitor. Robert Mueller, credibility in question. Mueller facing questions over his role as FBI director during Obama era Russian uranium deal. What did I tell you? I literally made a video about this over the weekend, knowing that they were gonna go in this direction. Because I was wondering like, why do they keep talking about Hillary and uranium one years later? What difference does it make? I was like, oh, they're gonna say Mueller was the head of the FBI during that time and use it as an excuse to attack Mueller. So they finally got that talking point and then the giant graphic comes into place. And they say, Mueller facing questions. Facing questions from who? You guys, no one else. That is a completely unrelated story, but not on Fox News. On Fox News, that's the main story. So here they are later in the day, here's a mashup. This comes as Mueller faces growing questions over his credibility leading the probe and potential conflicts of interest. I think that he has to be very, very careful um, about making sure that the public believes that he has no conflicts and that his integrity is unquestioned. I think there are issues here which he's gonna have to address 
because it is going to involve the investigation of what the FBI was doing and not doing at a critical time during our relationship with Russia when he was head of the FBI. Uh, the New York Post columnist Michael Goodwin put this out. He said, any honest probe must examine the Obama White House and Justice Department. Mueller served as head of the FBI for more than four years under President Obama and cannot be expected to investigate his former colleagues and bosses. But without that necessary step, his work would be incomplete at best. So it's time for him to say bye-bye. Yeah, his point is that he's compromised and he cannot conduct a fair and independent investigation. By the way, New York Post and Fox News owned by Rupert Murdoch, a giant ally of Donald Trump. Uh, asking questions, they're just asking questions about whether Mueller should be replaced in the middle of finding incredible evidence of collusion with the Russians and the Trump campaign. And dutifully, of course, Republicans like Chris Christie and Peter King go all over television saying, I don't know, man, I don't know, can we really trust this guy? Well, the evidence is already in on Manafort and Gates and Papadopoulos. I know, but squirrel, cheeseburger emojis. Your desperation to cover up for it only makes the fact that there is a giant story here even more apparent. So as usual, uh, Fox and, and the Republicans being hilariously counterproductive. Watch the Young Turks commercial free, download it or stream it, watch it any way you like at tytnetwork.com slash join.